Hi, and welcome to the Three Minute Product Manager and our discussion on supporting a sales team. So as product management groups, as product managers, uh, you know, we share a common goal with our sales teams. You know, we want market success through strong sales and customer satisfaction. At the same time, there's some natural and predictable tensions between our two groups. Uh, sales teams tend to think account by account, customer by customer. Uh, often the biggest customers is what they're thinking about. We, as product management teams, on the other hand, often think about market segments, customer segments, across the full spectrum of sizes. There's also de deal demands versus resources. So often, you know, sales teams will want this just this, just this one feature change on our product uh, so that they can win a particular deal. On the other hand, we often get lots of these requests and we can't support all of the requests that we've got and still keep our product evolution on track. And then there's a time horizon difference. So often sales teams, or if we think about product management teams first, uh, you know, we think in terms of this quarter, maybe we get new, new features out, you know, for the next six to nine months, we might think of a product strategy, you know, one to three years. Um, sales reps think this quarter, they live and die by this quarter. So I have to say, you know, we love our sales teams, but sometimes we struggle to support them. So what I'm gonna do in this video is talk about five things that we can do to better support our sales teams. We're gonna start with respect. So I just make a few comments here, and that is the day-to-day -day work of product managers and sales teams. It's pretty dramatically different. Uh, and a lot of product managers, especially those with engineering backgrounds, sometimes lack sales experience. So they lack natural empathy for the sales process, for sales reps. And I got to say, you know, between the two teams, it's sometimes easy to miscommunicate. It's easy to miss time or deliverables. Um, and sometimes we just inadvertently disrespect each other. So what I'm going to tell you to do is, is the following. So first of all, every chance you get as a product manager, convey support and empathy for your sales teams. You know, listen carefully, listen closely, listen with empathy to their sales issues. Also, join sales calls, uh, help out with tough clients, um, and then respond to sales requests on the same day if you can. Don't respond at the end of this week. Don't respond next week. And then be transparent about your product timing. So if you know you're expecting to get a feature out next month, but it's actually three months from now, make sure the sales team knows that. All right, first one's respect. Let's go to training. So sales reps, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but sales reps need the knowledge to sell our products. So do this, get your sales teams trained, get your sales reps trained. So here we're talking about target customers, needs, product details, benefits. Um, how to demo, how to sell, what's the pricing. They need to know all of this, okay? So you might, you need to, you need to make sure that they get trained. Now you might be training them yourself uh, if you're a smaller company or you might be training the trainer. All right, let's go to the third one, which is sales tools. So excellent sales enablement tools will help win deals. And for us product managers, they also help us win friends. So do this. So pick the right set of sales enablement tools for your product. So um, might be a pitch deck or customer demos, case studies, return on investment calculators, competitive selling against tools. Find the most impactful sales enablement tools for your product and get those developed. Now, you may be developing them yourself or you just may be supplying the content to a product marketing group or a marketing group to finalize that content. But make sure you get this stuff done. All right, let's go to the fourth one, which is deal support. So. Just like our sales teams, we wanna win key deals. So go ahead and do this. So provide product and subject matter expertise to reinforce your sales teams. Uh, help them out with that. Uh, and then also within reason and, when, and within bounds, if you can customize and enhance your products uh, for select clients, go ahead and do that. But again, keep that within balance with all of the other priorities that you've got. All right, then we go to the fifth one, which is constant feedback. Uh, and so we, you know, as a product management team, we want to understand key trends that the sales teams are seeing in the market. Uh, we want to know about their sales challenges. We want to hear what help they need. So do this. So set up regular monthly meetings with key sales reps uh, and ask them, you know, what's changing in the market that we might not have seen? Ask them, you know, what help do you need? All right, so go ahead and do that monthly. All right, so that's five ways to better support a sales team. 
So my name is Todd Burza. I've got my contact information here. Uh, I've also got two courses out on Udemy, uh, uh, one for product managers and, and another for VPs and directors of product management. And in both of those courses, I talk more about supporting a sales team. So the links to those courses are below. All right, that's the three-minute product manager supporting a sales team.